Dick, every team in the nation wanted to make it to the end of the road, but only these teams were good enough to make it to the Final Four. The championship game appearance is on the line between the Kansas Jayhawks and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Tar Heels know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. Number one, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. Next, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Lastly, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Down inside. He fakes the shot. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. He puts it up. He hits it. The ball goes out of play. Now trying to feed the low block. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Hey, Brad, I like what he does on the court. He's the key or engine for this team, a bona fide superstar at his position. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Defense giving some room. Trying to feed the low block. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. into the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Garrison is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. From the top of the circle. That was nice. With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Defense, 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 defense. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. My goodness, Mr. Nelson, that was phenomenal, baby. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The center gets the pass. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the outside, takes the pass in the paint. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Now 
Number 32, pump fakes. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The point guard takes the pass. Stop and pop, drains the shot. Here's a double team. The point guard gets the ball, fakes it. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. There's the trap. He puts up the three ball. North Carolina have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He nails the shot. Turns it over. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He's open if he wants the shot. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Great anticipation defensively. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Trip red. On the dribble, gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. On the it. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of play. Both teams looking to get things going here. High post flashes. Way out on top, controlling the ball. For two, up, easy one. The frustration right there. Got the shot if he wants it. For three, drains it. Gotta think right now, gotta focus defensively. The small forward with the ball. Gave it up. He wants a three. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. The power forward takes the feed. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. It's a fast break possibility. Goes up for two. for two. There was no doubt about that one. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Picked off. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That spin move is not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Launches away. Nice shot. Hold on, let's see that again. And they get the turnover. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. 
Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Double team now, bad angle. He launches the bomb way off target. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He looks at the hoop. There's the screen up on top. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. In the paint. Pushing that basketball. Taken away. Work it inside, and he tries a drop and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. High post player flashing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure on the basketball. Prohop draws the foul. Nice move. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Gets two at the charity strike. That's a 7 nothing run. The Jayhawks have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Things are going well. It's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy into it. Steals a pass. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Coach looks on. Focus. A lot of bad is shot block. North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Robs him of the ball. And numbers going the other way. Tries for two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. in front to take it away. Push 
pushes it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. He gets the bucket. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. A whistle and foul. Coach now has to get the sideline. The ball goes out of bounds. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I tell you, this great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Launches the three. Goes. Dumping inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up. He gets the rejection. What an unbelievable play, rotating over. And right in the circle, makes the shot. In the paint. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. Number double zero comes in for his first go around tonight. David. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. Blue heaven because of the wall-to-wall -wall Carolina blue inside the Dean Dome. Well, that's not it, though. The Swimmers Championship banners, retired jerseys of the 21,000 fans on occasion. It's a special place. He gets the bucket to fall. Gave it up. He intercepts it for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Perfectly executed. Accepted. They work it back to the outside. Look at that spacing. Got some room. They'll work it around the arc on the outside. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Penetrates and kicks back. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. The Tar Heels will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Entry pass in the paint. 
I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Now they work it around the perimeter for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. It sticks. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They should have got it through about a second earlier. Definitely a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. At the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Sinks it. There's a double team waiting there. There he is, puts the ball loose. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He shoots from the top of the key. Defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Picked out of the air. off the lazy pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Let's it fly. North Carolina have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. In the paint. There's the trap. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Fast break possibility coming. On the outside. Got it down the low block. He puts it in with contact and all. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the inside. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it over. Tries for two. And he missed. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. The ball goes out of play. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move.
Shot clock is dead. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. the buzzer at the end of the first half the Tar Heels lead by nine it's a close one folks what have you got Dick as your play of the half check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half we saw some great baskets down low which really opened up the outside range for both teams well let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half North Carolina is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Dumps it in. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Look at this effort. Gave it up. He shoots from the elbow. He shows the sweet touch. The Jayhawks trail by nine. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gives it up. Picked off. Line of ball. Pressure helps side. It's all there. Got an open look if he wants it. He makes the block. And back they come the other way. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. The Tar Heels are ahead by eight. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He hits the tough shot. I tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Knocks it home and one. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. High post flasher is open. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. 
picked off. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Here's the toss back out from the Pope. He blocks the shot. He anticipated a pass well. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The center handles the feed. Can't get the shot to go. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Takes away the pass. For two, perfectly executed. The center handles the pass. He pulls the trigger. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Working it around the perimeter. Tries a three. He gets it to fall. Look at this last play right here. The dribble gives it up, jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. Watch this again. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Nice fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Buchanan receives the pass, gets it to fall. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard receives the ball. This is an old-fashioned stopping. These shots are falling from everywhere. On the outside, fake. Number 22 is called for the foul. First team foul. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Steals a pass. Good fake. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. The Tar Heels have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Transition opportunity coming up. The ball goes out of bounds. 
Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. With the fake, tries for two. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The ball handler might be in trouble here. He shoots from the baseline, buried it. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. As a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, guys. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. The fake. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails it from downtown. Work it around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Gave it up. He looks for the bomb. Got it. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Shoots. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. He intercepts it. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. When you're talking about the Big 12, people often mention Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma. Yeah, Brad, they do. But it'll be interesting to see how or if the recent coaching changes will affect the style of play that the Big 12 is known for. Makes it. Let's check out this replay, Brad. Can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. And the fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. You talk about versatility. There aren't many guys that would make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch. Impossible to block that shot. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. With the jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The 
Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. front to take it away for the bucket drops the bucket despite the harm gotta take some pride on a defensive end he strips him clean buried it Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. That's nine unanswered. Picks off the lazy pass. In the paint. Joseph makes a great move to draw the foul. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Joseph steps to the line for the first time. Gets his first. Second shot, no good. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He drains it. That's a 12-zip run. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. The Tar Heels seem to be just down emotionally. That could be damaging to their overall performance. They've lost their composure, and that's a no-no. And now they'll bring it up. Robs him of the ball. And again, they look to run. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, perfectly executed. For the deuce, and in and out. Great defense. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. He's money with a shot. Intercepted. Easy dude coming here, Brad. He gets the bucket to fall. That's 20 unanswered. On the dribble, gives it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively.
change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Hard foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Time to pick up the defense here now. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. to draw some contact and he scores despite the hack for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is the offense gaining great post position down low absolutely getting the good inside angle a poor job defensively no help I mean that is post play at its best picked off trying to draw the foul up easy one they're gonna need a miracle to get a victory in this one now it's hard to believe that this game started off tied 0-0 on the guy in the post to go the other way. Look at that spacing. And a momentary look from three-point land. He attempts the trifecta. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Picked out of the air. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. Got a wide open look. Goes up for two. Lays it in. For the bucket. And off the mark. He fouled him. Well, Dick, the shot seemed to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Second shot, good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Controlling the ball. Stolen ball. Fast break opportunity here. Goes up for two. Pushes it. Here's a double team. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He's got an open look for the shot. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog, Dick. I'll tell you, the mascot's so sad it reflects their play.
He's got some room. Shot clock violation, Dick. They really put the clamps on him there. Clamps is right, Brad. They ran, but they couldn't hide. Gave it up. Wide open for the shot. He goes for three. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And the clock stopped with a foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul. <laughs> foul, and that stops the clock again. <laughs> Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He missed it. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. The lead is nine. Nine is fine, Brad. They have to keep their composure and take good shots. He goes for the trifecta. For two, rims it, blocks the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He unloads a three. He gets it to go. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Kansas completes a five-game winning streak with a big, big win today. I'll tell you one thing, the coach doesn't want five, baby. He wants the Super Six because the six means the national championship, and they're ready to win number six and win the NCAA championship. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.